welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody you know, okay. Hope everybody you know, right. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. People, I can tell you know this. Holy pa things still are going on the news. You understand? I say, Kanjo go sub my circle, cock up pace, and I go on the bag of thing. But I have one thing to tell Kanjo, say, don't bother take the money from clowning. You understand? Don't make clowning set him after of this or after that. Do it yourself. Guys, when the killing go on right down there, guess what clowning did I do? Them did a plan conventional man turn. You understand? And the people, them not forget. See how that them do. But anyway, anyway, people that want to see us now. You understand? This is not the news and it kind of under the little mat because some people not really talk about it. But something not add up for me still. I'll be honest, I don't know. Here we go on, power we go on now, yeah, man. The parents of the nine year old girl in Westmoreland who was raped and murdered four years ago have welcomed Friday guilty verdict against the 17 year old boy on trial for the brutal crime. Yes, people. The youth make them know say what you know, man. Them be charging for busting up the front and the bastage, but not the murder. And never him commit the crime. That's how the youth are said, but somehow people, something now add up. But anyway, here we go on, power we go on now. DPP herself. Director of Public Prosecution Paula Llewellyn, who was the chief prosecutor in the matter, led evidence that on June 5, 2018, the nine year old girl was sexually assaulted and killed by the teen, who was 13 at the time and who lived near him. The DPP told jurors the young girl had accepted the boy's invitation to pick apples as they walked home from school. The jurors heard testimony from a pathologist that the girl died of asphyxia caused by manual strangulation. She reportedly had lacerations of the vagina and anus. The court was also told that forensic evidence concluded that a substance found in the anus of the schoolgirl matched the DNA of the accused teenager. DPP Lulin described the case as a tragic one. She was found in a bushy area beside a guava tree, near an apple tree on her back with her underwear at the ankle of one leg in her tunic which was rolled up above her waist. It was a most tragic matter and we put forward the best evidence that was available. The teen, while admitting that he had sexual intercourse with the girl, denied killing her. He testified he had been forced to have sex with the girl by two armed men. One he called by a particular name, the other machete. The other one he said was masked and had a gun. And is that they forced him after they had sex with the child, they forced him to have sex with her. So he asserted that they were the ones, or the one with the machete was the one who killed her. And all he would admit to was that he had sex with her. DPP Llewellyn says impact statements are to be taken from the family of the deceased. The judge has made an order that the approbation report is to be done. He is to be seen and evaluated by a child psychiatrist and also a psychologist. And for the prosecution to present any submissions, we will be preparing from the family of the deceased who are in the courtroom. The parents have come every day and they had their big son with them today. A victim impact statement will be taken from them and then the antecedent, any antecedent report and he uh, ordered that he be remanded in a juvenile facility. The teen is to be sentenced by Justice Courtney Day on July 28. That is that way that is concerned. Well, I'm going to give you some more news before I go to the and circle the cocoa paste and listen to criminal defender and Kanjo. You are going to go to the A load of man has been charged with the June 15, 2020 murder of Tashawn Douglas in Old Alba Market District. 38 year old Andrew Williams of Williams Street in the town centre was on Monday slapped with several charges in relation to the senseless killing of Douglas. 
in addition to the murder charge, Williams, who goes by the name of Pang, has also been charged with shooting with intent, wounding with intent, and three counts of illegal possession of firearm, and three counts of illegal possession of ammo. The police said that Williams was pointed out by the main witness who escaped the gun attack, led by the accused and two other men on the morning of June 15. According to the police, at about 8 o'clock on the day in question, the man who is said to be a chef at an altercation, Williams and two other men. During the squabble, it is alleged that Williams and one of his friends, listed by the police as Nata, pulled an handgun and started firing at the chef. While he was being shot at, the chef escaped into a yard nearby. However, it is further alleged that it was at that moment that Douglas, otherwise called Indian or Poe, another man identified as Luke Pele Gabidon, was shot. Douglas died on the spot while Gabidon was treated and released from the hospital after being shot in the left arm. Remember a long time I come and I tell the police them I hear that. I now go stop say that. Look at the big e that police them do now. William was picked up by the police the next day and taken into custody where he was later pointed out to the police by the chef. Yes, people. The chef pointed him, but the chef they don't tell them I already. I just slap them they didn't forgot to slap him. Away. Anyway now people, family and friends of Kimisha right right down a cocoa pace. I go get help. You understand what me always say this? Don't wait until I'm gone to give me help. Give me the help. No. Here we go one, we go one. I just want to see him face to face to ask him why. Why him do it. I need answers, said the grieving Gwendolyn McKnight. Yesterday, just over circular. Kanjo got circular people. And Kanjo have this to say. I spoke with Miss McKnight, Mrs. McKnight earlier. And I committed that I will assist. I will assist personally. Uh, and uh, the office of the Prime Minister will also assist. The Member of Parliament will assist. The Parish Council will assist. Uh, and the, the, the Child Protection, Protection and, family and Family Services will assist. There is a kind of sense of emptiness that no matter what we do, it, it just cannot remove the stain on us. On us all. Uh, because what has happened, this this murder, uh, it is an assault on all our sensibilities. And even though it is, you know, a family within a family, it, 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 is, it has really happened in the Jamaican family. We, as a country, we have normalized the use of violence. Uh, an incident like this should be a line in the sand, uh, but oftentimes they become the new normal. And then we look how much worse can it get? I am not going to allow it to get uh, any any worse than it is now. Uh, and uh, what we have decided to do is to fast track our program, our anti-violence program, because we have been working on developing our anti-violence program. We use violence in matters of love and matters of the heart, in intimate partner relations. We use violence uh, as a as a means of domination and power. And uh, between family and neighbors. We use violence to resolve conflicts uh, and where it is just a currency of our social transaction. Uh, and that must change. Uh, and I think the Jamaican people have to uh, not just you know, confront the murderer, but we also have to confront ourselves as to how we have come to normalize and accept violence. That was Kanju Opless, my people. Hold on a bit now. We're going to talk to you, partner. The man we make criminal of as the power. Yeah, people. Yeah, the man that make criminal have all the power, all the talk, and all the say. A criminal run about you. Hear him now. Um, there are particular offenses over the years that we find, and especially persons who go into the remand system with certain allegations. And over the years, I've found that allegations that touch and concern children and certain other offenses may make you vulnerable in the lockup. So that is one directive we have given to our team. Um, we had initial contact with him and one of the steps we had taken in that early exchange was to ensure he got medical attention and then we'll be returning to have recorded dialogue with him. And you know he cannot direct the law enforcement bodies where to keep someone, etc. But we give the I've directed my team to give that recommendation in terms to do, do the risk assessment and take the necessary steps. <laughs>